So I'm Nick Merlino, I'm 32, and I'm from Atlantic City, New Jersey. So we're currently in Oxnard, California. This is where I reside. I moved from Long Beach, I want to say like two years ago. So what you see in there is my art studio. So I started painting like four months ago, four and a half or something. Watched a Bob Ross video, I think on Netflix this one day. I just was like, damn, that looks pretty fun. Like, didn't look like it was too hard. The way he does it, obviously, he makes it look easy as fuck. I just, like, I tried a couple and some of them came out okay, and then others came out shitty because I didn't know what I was doing at first. <laughs> look at the water, you can't, it doesn't even look like, it looks like grass. But then, like, the more I did it, I started to have them come out, like, pretty cool, how he did, and I just got addicted. Camping is like my favorite thing to do anyways, so it's like pretty much just bringing that shit into my home, you know, without ever having to leave. So it's like I'm on a permanent camping trip, you know, all the time. I turned to pro, I think, in 2012, I want to say. It was like right after WTF came out. I, I don't really know to be exact. I don't even fucking care, to be quite honest. I don't want to sound like, you know, like I'm not grateful for, to skateboarding, like I care, but it's like, to me, it's like something that it's like, whatever, like I'm stoked that it happened, but like, it's not something like I, I remember for some reason. But I think for the most part right now, what painting does for me is gives me that same feeling of landing a banger. I broke a paint knife. That was kind of like a feeling of, oh shit, like I just did a tray flip and broke a tail off my board or something, you know? It gave me that feeling. I was like, oh fuck, yeah. I gotta buy a new painter's knife now. That's what it was like when I was a kid, when I had to fucking get a new deck. I smoke a shit ton of weed. Pretty much just chill, listen to music and vibe out. Whatever mood you're in, it reflects your painting. I've noticed a lot, like when it's a little gloomy out or dark out, like I'll paint like a Northern Lights one or a dark painting. Like you're just in a darker mood or like if it's a full fucking moon out, I'll paint a full moon painting or some shit, you know? Try to create a landscape around it or something. Super therapeutic and meditation-like. When you do a painting and it's complete, it's almost like filming a whole video part, but in two hours. That's kind of how it makes me feel. So I don't have a board set up right now, and I painted on all the fucking boards they gave me. So I'm just, I gotta get more of them to skate. <laughs> I actually have to skate them this time. And I guess I can tell you guys I just can't talk about it very much. I got casted for Jackass 4, so fucking hyped on that. I've been sober for over two years now from alcohol, and I guess you can't say I'm completely sober because I smoke weed, but it has changed my life 110%. I don't have to worry anymore. I pay my bills on time. That feels great. I eat good meals thanks to her. She's fucking rad, by the way. I love my girlfriend, Jennifer. Not drinking has given me everything I've ever wanted. And it sucks because for so many years I was blinded by that shit and couldn't see that. I was having a good time, don't get me wrong. Skateboarding is the life of the party. That's what's the problem sometimes. In my case, I like to party a little too much. I like it a lot, you know what I mean? So I think that I kind of got engulfed in that. And when you're giving a young guy all this money to basically do whatever he wants, there could be some fucking like, you know, some bad shit there. It can turn into some gnarly times. You get into fights and you get blacked out and you fucking lose friends or like whatever, man, like just crazy shit happens. You realize it's not worth it at the end of the day. I love the way I live now because I wake up, I drink coffee and I just fucking paint or skate and I just do what I like to do. And then the acting stuff now, thank God. And you know, that's just how I live and I love it. I'm sure like if you've been in the industry for 10 years plus, you've felt some type of insecurity as far as like, shit, what am I gonna do after skateboarding? So for me, this is such a blessing that I've been able to just instantly jump into something that I love to do and make money from it. 
I never would have known how many people like would want to buy this shit. It's fucking nuts. Like I actually make a good living doing this. I haven't had to like rely on money from skateboarding in months. Fucking awesome. Truly and genuinely just a blessing, man, that I'm super hyped on and I just can't believe it, I guess. And then like I get to look at nature at the same time, so that's always fucking rad. If people want to buy them, you can go on to uh, my Instagram. It's just merlino underscore art. And there's like, there's like a whole little gallery on there where I post daily, if not daily, weekly.